Hello everyone, I am Sarita Varma, Assistant Professor in GS Mandal's Maratwada Institute of Technology, Aurangabad. This video is a part of an FDP 101X Foundation Program on ICT for Education by IIT Bombay. In this video, I will be discussing the basics of digital image processing. The contents are what is digital image processing, the need of digital image processing, what is a digital image, its advantages, disadvantages, applications and key stages in digital image processing. What is a digital image and what is the need of digital image processing? Digital image processing can be defined as manipulation of an image by a digital computer. Need of image processing, improvement of pictorial information for human interpretation and for processing of image data for storage, transmission and representation for autonomous machine perception. This is a diagram which shows analog versus digital image where you can see an analog image is a continuous image and here is a digital image which has been represented in the form of ones and zeros. A digital image is nothing but a representation of a two-dimensional image as at the finite set of digital pixel values called picture elements. It can be defined as a two-dimensional function fxy where x and y denote the spatial coordinates and f indicates the amplitude of the coordinates x, y and is called the intensity or the gray level or the color of the pixel at that point. Pixel values, they represent gray levels, colors, heights, opacities. Advantages of digital image processing. Faster and of course cost effective. It can be easily stored and efficiently transmitted. A digital image can be immediately, immediately recognized if it has been good or not. Copying a digital image is easy. The quality does not degrade even if it is copied several times. Reproduction of images more faster and cheaper. Plenty of scope for versatile image manipulation. List a few disadvantages of digital image processing. Yes, misuse of copyright has become easier. A digital file can be enlarged beyond certain size. Large memory required to store and process and for real-time implementation, fast processes are needed. Applications of digital image processing, they are in all walks of life, whether it is medicine, forensics, remote sensing, communication or automation. Here is a reflection quiz. You are expected to write two real-time applications of image processing. So just take a pause and write the two applications. Yes, image processing can be used in all walks of life in our, all our day-to-day -day applications. Biometrics can be used for creating a database for criminals and identifying the criminal. Or it may be in, the, in an automation industry for identifying bottles, water bottles which have been partially filled, fully filled or maybe empty. And many more applications. You just list an alphabet. An application is possible in digital image processing. These are the key stages in digital image processing. It starts with image acquisition. Here, an image has been acquired and it has been converted into digital form and represented. The next step is image enhancement. Here, you can see a blur image and after enhancement, after using different enhancement techniques, the quality of image has been improved. Similarly, we have image restoration, morphological processing where thinning, thickening, closing and opening operations can be performed in an image and the quality of image can be improved. Segmentation for identifying the edges of an image, object recognition, representation and description and compression plays a very important role in today's world. Without it, we cannot think of so many so much information being transmitted and received. 
how I mesh processing. Here is a small quiz for you. The color of an object is determined by the light refracted, transmitted, reflected and absorbed. Image is represented by a 2D function. Four values have been given and you have to list any two stages of digital image processing. The references are Thank you.